Taipei World Trade Center opened a major industrial exhibition on Thursday with a focus on smart tech for the post-coronavirus world. The Taiwan InnoTech Expo brings together dozens of the latest innovations from developers in Taiwan and abroad. Press the spray to release a fine mist of disinfectant. Inside the device, an electrochemical technology catalyzes redox, turning water into an agent that deactivates viruses and bacteria. The innovation was recently publicized on the WHO's website as a new development to counter COVID. I was part of a rescue team in a natural disaster zone, and we discovered that disinfection is a very serious problem. So we wanted to develop a disinfectant that could be created on the spot. Just add water, turn on the power, and you'll get reactive oxygen species. When the coronavirus happened, we specifically developed a product for on-site use that can be placed at entranceways. The disinfectant is already in use at airports and hotels in several countries. Elsewhere in the expo, an ecologically friendly chlorine neutralizing tap. It doesn't have any filter to replace. Instead, it uses electrochemistry to break down the chlorine, which can be carcinogenic. <laughs> Meanwhile, this VR headset allows you to jump straight into a virtual environment with friends in far-flung places. Developed by the Institute for Information Industry, the headset can be used for live streamed presentations, education and training events, as well as business meetings. The virtual space can be streamed, broadcast live, recorded. It has a 360-degree video. First, users may need a VR headset and a controller. Then, they simply download an app onto their phone. The Innovation Exhibition is a joint project involving the Industrial Development Bureau, the Department of Industrial Technology, the National Development Council, and the Small and Medium Enterprise Administration, as well as the Ministry of National Defense. More than 100 cutting-edge systems are on show, including products from multinational companies looking to get into Taiwan's smart tech market in the post-COVID era.